over the past of the, the past year we've heard everybody else's voice we've heard politicians we've heard social media we've heard you know media reports but the voice of the rights holders themselves has been significantly missing so we'd like to use this panel at the end of the day in commemoration of human rights day and the international migrants day to really shine a light on the rights holders and to hear from them what they think are the issues around intolerance what they think are the issues around um, the lack of evidence two times of arrest was enough or were enough to ensure to me that I could not live anymore uh, safely uh, in my uh, home country. Uh, to take a decision like that is very difficult. It's not easy to leave your country, to leave your family, to leave your social connection, to leave your uh, neighborhood, to leave uh, your hobbies, many things that you one day f decide to leave all of that, to leave your language, to speak another language, to live with another people, another culture, another uh, environment, and many d different things that one day you're going to find yourself completely and totally changed from, from a situation to another. The words we use in the conversation about migration are key because they feed the myths and stoke the idea that migrants damage or in some way diminish their host society. In fact, as research in the OECD countries shows very clearly, migrants add more to the public purse through taxes and social contributions than they take out in benefits. We see that often racial discrimination and xenophobia comes in as during the flight and presents a lot of dangers but it also presents unfortunately a reality in a lot of host countries and in countries of asylum. I feel like very like scary and because of the burdens and sacrifices because of my children, my parents so it was very it was very difficult and I'm not a criminal I'm just I'm just working hard just to fight for the good future of my children and my parents because in Philippines it is very hard to find a good job